Remember own shirt? Disappointed. He made himself. Oh, oh, it must be on. Hey. Yeah. Good, good, good. How you doing? Oh, Zoe. I didn't recognise you. Can Steve? No, more like that. I've never tried. I can't get her in. That's it. Physical. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> too tired. <laughs> right, it's before the game, you were sort of saying Fiji needed to be a little bit off for you guys to have a chance. They weren't really off in that first half, they came out pretty hard. Not for the first 20. They're, uh, they're a combination of just being you know, very fine athletes, but uh, we're pretty smart as well around the rock. They unpicked us around the rock a fair bit. And, uh, and they weren't off at all, so. Did they shock you at all? No, not so much shock. I think everybody in our camp was aware that that start was always a threat, uh, without actually mentioning it. So, you know, we've watched them play before, and you know, we know what to be capable of. Mark, when you're out there in that kind of situation, obviously you guys rallied and did get a few tries back. It's yeah. how do you, you know, keep a positive mentality? Oh, we we knew it was going to be tough. No, we weren't kidding ourselves. We knew it was going to be hard. Um, and we, we said that we wanted to take a couple of five-minute stints out of it, like worst-case scenario that, you know, we went good, and we did. We did that. Um, you know, defence around the rock, as Max said, let us down a lot. Um, I was a lot smarter than I thought they'd be. Um, edges killing it. it, it, it we'll work harder next week and regroup and hopefully get, you know, four four five-minute blocks. You know, we keep, keep, keep building. It was like a freight train coming at you guys all night. You, you seem to be on defence like most of the night, right? Straight up, yeah, we did, we did. But um, I think at, at times we managed them well. Um, when we committed three in the tackle, we did manage them well. But it's, it's against a team like that, you did one one poor tackle, one one quick tackle. I think their front rollers are just as quick as our you know wingers. So it's 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 going to be tough, isn't it? You played better in the second half, though, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Um, I, I, whether they backed off, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we we did play a lot better. What, what do you mean that was they were smarter than you thought? They're around the rock, as Max said. They were getting out, playing real well. Um, I, we didn't, well, I haven't seen much much video on them. Like I'd, I was just expecting them to come straight up and down and, and just hit the edge. And, but they, were, yeah, they really worked us over. What positives can you take forward into the next game, do you think, Bob? As I said, those two five-minute blocks where we scored a couple of tries and um, when we stuck to our game plan, when we kicked it out, and we, we slowed them down. and um, we'll, keep, we'll keep working. I, Italy's going to be just as good. They're, they're all NRL stars as well, so I'm sure Mac will break it down and, and give us a you know new game plan to try and try and beat Italy. Did you think fitness might have been an issue when you guys haven't played for some of you since August? Nah, we're all we're all fit guys. Uh, fitness isn't an issue, mate. They're, they're top caliber players, you know. How many thousand odd NRL games between them? So yeah, we're all fit. Mark, what do you think the main main difference is between this campaign for the US and the previous 2013? We're in a lot tougher pool. That's pretty obvious. I mean, um, I think it's a bit unfair for Italy to be honest. They, you know, PNG is going to walk through that next pool, that other pool, aren't they? Um, but yeah, we're in a lot tougher pool. Uh, we've lost a couple of old boys, yeah, and we got, but we got 12 Americans on here. And uh, what? Six of them played today. Six of them played today. Imagine what they're going to take back to their clubs over there. They're going to grow the game. We've hopefully got a New York team popping up. Um, you know, and I'm sure more East Coast teams are going to pop up. And the more USA players we can get playing in those teams, 12 years down the track, three World Cups away, who knows what can happen. Were those US boys out there, were they buzzing? Yeah, of course they were. Nervous. And they, they, they stayed positive, mate. They stayed positive. You know, they, some boys did some good shots. Um, as I said, they're going to take a lot away from it. Yeah. Is that what you have to look at as a coach as well? Just take away those positives of, of what can they take back to the US game? It's a combination of doing both. I'm obviously we want to go well in this in this contest, in this competition, but it, it's on the it's on the list of objectives that at the end of it, USA Rugby League is in far better shape than what it is when it went into the contest, and that's not necessarily reliant on scores or winning games. You know, for in the last World Cup, you know, the question about what's the main difference between this World Cup and the last World Cup, what we're carrying now for the squad is American players who've got less miles on the clock and you know and haven't played rugby league for that many years, so. At some stage, if, if we're hopeful that the game is going to grow in America, you have to bite the bullet and say, well, let's just throw a lot of blocks in there.
let him experience it. And some of these American boys are going to go back to the shores and say, this is what the rugby league's like, this is the culture, this is the environment, this is how to train, this is, it. This is what it's like at the sharpest, hardest level. The only way you can do that is by playing them. So, uh, but that's not easy when you lose a game by that score and we still want to win and you know, we thought we could beat that game, didn't we? We thought yeah, we, we could did, win. Yeah, yeah. Genuinely, if one or two things would have gone our way and we would have maybe turned Fiji around enough time, we may have seen a different version of Fiji, but I don't think we've been naive in any of those thoughts. But at the same time, there are some positives because we're a bit further down the track and we've got a game, we haven't even had a warm-up game, so we're ready for next week. Ryan, what about the uh, amount of drop balls and missed tackles and things? You've got to work on that, obviously, before you play uh, Italy, right? No, I don't agree with that. I don't think we dropped the ball that much. We did drop it. Yeah. We dropped it disappointingly. I don't think, I don't, in, in field position in the second half, maybe twice. I don't think it was a raft of drop balls that cost us. That wasn't the reason we, we lost by that score. Uh, you know, again, we haven't played a warm up game. Half these blokes haven't been together. We've come from four corners of the globe and we've been contacting each other for via email for two years. You know, so uh, the f we're, uh, there are some moments out there where I nod my head to myself and think, that was all right, though. And it may have been that Fiji just got a try, but I'm seeing 13 white shirts still still trying to stop them from scoring tries, which is, is a, it's something, it's an ingredient that it's hard to coach, is the togetherness and the bond and the, the desire that they've got. Well, that's what I thought. I mean, I didn't think you guys gave up for one second out there, which was good. Mm. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think any team in this competition is going to give up. So thanks, so you think so. I mean, yeah, thanks that you think that, mate. But I don't think any team's going to give up, are they? Um, you know, the, the best thing now is that we get positive press out of it and we don't have any... Um, you know, negative, you know, negative uh, articles coming out and saying, "Oh, you know, this was this." Well, we're here, we're in the World Cup, and there's teams that aren't in the World Cup. We made it here, and we made it here with American players. Um, you know, we'll make the next one with American players, and we'll be better. So we've just got to keep building on top of it, as Max said. The, the tournaments are not over, not over. You've still got two games. You exactly. Can still bounce back yet? Oh, exactly. Yeah, we're, we're not. You know, we're going we're to win. That's a, that's the hardest team we'll play, but by by far. Um, you know, we're we're, we're confident. Right, you, you, there you go. Do you plan to make sort of changes throughout the tournament, or do you, or do you want your strongest team out every time? No, every block needs to play. Every block in our squad needs to play. It's part of us. It's part of us bringing some of the lads who's you know they've only been playing a year maybe. It's part of us bringing them if they don't play. So that their experience again, you know, part of my objective is I've got a few win some games, you know, and create some headlines and maybe get through to the quarterfinals. I'd love to do that. But then at the same time, if that's my only objective, but I don't take 11, 12 American boys with me. So I'm going to bring them over here, they'll play. Uh, so we will make some changes and we'll roll, roll the squad about. But I'll tell you, every time, I mean, this, this is the, the the art or the beauty and the, certainly the hard thing about being involved in it. Every time we go into a game, we'll think we'll win. We'll put ourselves through a process, we'll practice, we'll talk to each other. We'll come up with some sort of plan and we'll believe in that plan. And that's what you do. And, you guys might think, well, they're just a bit naive for thinking they could ever beat Fiji. But then, if you don't, if you don't go in that, if you don't go into it with that mindset, it's, uh, you know, it's, what's the point? Ryan, were you pleasantly surprised <coughs> by anything in, in the performance from some of the inexperienced players? Uh, I thought Joe Eigen when he came on whacked a couple, and uh, it was a, a good moment because I think he knocked himself out at one stage. Didn't he? He got a he got a closed eye, so uh, it's it's great it's great to see Andrew Kinesley doing his bit and Nick Newland doing his bit and Ryan Burrows doing his bit. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's and you know they're getting whacked by Fiji, and they're getting stopped dead, and they're finding it hard to play the ball quick now in the in the Colonial Cup games during the year where all the American boys played Canada and Jamaica for you know for a bit of a, a warm up. They found it for, so easy to play the ball now. There's no way they could there's no way they could play the ball quick today. And they found it hard to stop Fiji. They're good lessons to learn, and we'll be better for it as a group next week. You know, we'll have a far better performance next week, because of it. Mark, how far can Fiji go in this World Cup? I think they're going to go better than last World Cup. That's for sure. They're a lot better drilled. Uh, we obviously we didn't play in last World Cup, but we watched them. Um, I think if they go out of our pool, who, who will they who will they come up against? You don't? Yeah, you don't know. I don't know. Well, hope, hopefully it's not in Australia or New Zealand, and hopefully they can. They can go through to the semis again, and you know, give it a real, real run. But the, it's, it's, Italy is just as good. You look at them on paper. There's players in there that should be in the Australian team, in some people's opinion, isn't there? But 
Thank you. I'll do, I'll do my research next time. Yeah, cheers, mate. Warm up brew, believe it. Sit in a bucket of ice for a couple of hours. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. 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 C